Hare Krishna. Hare Bo. What's, what's this book that you're reading right now? Um, this book is called Tales of Ancient Egypt. Who's it by? It is by Roger Link Lancelin Green. Let me see the name. You got to hold it so I can see it. Lancelin. Roger Green. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that middle name. Lancelin Green. Introduced by Michael Rosen. I noticed something interesting. You were telling me that um, Isis, also known as Aset, she changed her shape to look like Neptis or Neverhead. Yes. So she had the ability to shape shift? No. Nevet, hut, het, um, gave Isis the permission to look like her. So, because she thought that Set was pure evil. So, um, Nebethet wanted Horus to become the pharaoh of Egypt, so Nebethet gave Isis the permission to take form as her, speak like her, and dress like her. Mm hmm So, but still, Isis had the power of transformation, correct? Did she have the power... The ability to transform. Have what, what powers did Isis display in your reading so far? Has she displayed any mystical abilities, any yes. potencies? Like what? She poisoned Ra just to find out his his um true name. His true name is Amen Ra. Um, the way how she poisoned Ra is by um making a cobra. Ra didn't even know what a cobra was at that time. He never even made it with his own hand, so he got scared. So he called upon all of the wizards or um, witchcrafters. Sorcerers? Yeah, sorcerers. When he called all of them, only one remained. That was Isis. Isis asked Ra, the only way I can cure you is by knowing your secret name. So... Ra told Isis his her true name his true name and when that happened it gave Osiris the chance to become the pharaoh of Egypt. Hmm, so so Osiris was the pharaoh of Egypt, what? Was that through trickery? Did they trick Ra or what? Or was this legitimate was this a legitimate arrangement or was it through trickery? It was through trickery. It was through trick so the gods are engaged in in tricking each other sometimes huh yeah so that's why that's another good example as to why we shouldn't worship demigods you can still get results from demigods but really don't worship demigods because they're they're very finicky and very tricky all right so what else what else have you learned from this book that that would be interesting to people i also learned that horus um, Horus and Set, wait, Set poisoned Horus when he was young because Set took the form of a scorpion. And at that time, Isis was, um, was trying to get the protection of Khonshu. Mm, Khonshu. Khonshu is the moon deity. Khonshu, yes, Khonshu. Khonshu. To protect Horus. At that time, Isis did, did not know that Set took the form of a scorpion just to poison Horus. And what was the conclusion? What happened? But the good thing is, Thoth. Thoth is known. Also known as Jihuti. He has Jihuti. the head of an ibis. Jihuti is the maker. It's like he makes prophecies. So that was still a prophecy that Horus was going to become the pharaoh of Egypt. Even though Horus was dead in that form, he was still alive in spirit soul. Horus was dead? In that form, specifically. Horus was dead or was Osiris? Horus. Okay, Hi Horus was dead. At what point was Horus dead? He was poisoned. Mm -hmm. And next no, he died. Mm -hmm. But... His pure spirit, the only reason why he actually died was because he was trying to visit Osiris. Ah, uh, so this was a pastime. 
So he gave up his material body so he could visit the planet of the underworld. The dwell. Dua? The dua. Yeah. How is it, how is it spelled? Dua, D -A -W -A -T, right? D-A-W-A-T. Dua. D-A-W-A-T. That's how they spelled it there? Let me check again. No, D-U-A-T. Dua. Oh, okay, okay. All right, good. So this was a pastime because we see something similar happening in the Vedas where <clears throat> a person will change roles or they'll give up their body or they'll even simultaneously manifest in more than one place in the universe to fulfill a particular deed so um i just found that interesting that he pointed it out that horace just died so that he could visit his father in the underworld is there anything else interesting that you could point out also notice that there's a similarity between osiris and shiva oh yeah yeah what's that shiva was chasing away yamaraj he because one of his names is the is the um, killer of Yamaraj. Mritunjaya. Mritunjaya. Mritunjaya is success or victory, right? Yes. Mrit is death. Mrit. Yes, M R T is death. Murt. In Spanish they call it um God, why well, I can't get the word? Muerto. Muerto. In Spanish it's muerto. Muerto is death. And in Sanskrit it's Mrityu. Mrityu. You see it? Yeah. Okay, good. So he's Mritunjaya. He's successful over death because Markandeya Rishi, if I'm not mistaken, Markandeya was a sincere devotee of Shiva. Yes, he yes, Right? Was. And Yamaraj came to take him, right? Yeah, but he was keep on praying to Shiva. Shiva, please, please save me. So, because of, um, I forgot his name. Yama or oh, Osiris? Oh, no, Marvandeya. Mar Markandeya. Markandeya was um chanting to Shiva. I think he was chanting Om Namah Shivaya. Yeah, Om Namah Shiv Shivaya. And when Shiva came, he chased away Yamaraj, and he said, "My do my devotee will live on." So and also. Osiris is the god of the dead, while as Set tried to kill or killed Osiris to become the pharaoh of Egypt. So, now I'm thinking about it, there actually is a similarity between, between Set and Shiva. They both were doing something to the god of the dead. Well... I see Osiris as I see Osiris as Yamaraj. Osiris and Yamaraj are the same to me, right? Because they're both kings of the dead, and they're both known um, in the Kemetic system. Osiris is the Lord of Perfect Black, and in the Vedic system, they call Yamaraj the Black. They call him Black. They just specifically make it a point to describe Yamaraj as Black. Whether or not that's um, associated to subliminal racism or sanctified racism. I don't know, but that's a different subject. The point is they identify him as Yama the Terrible, and they always make a point to point out that he's black. Osiris is also known as the Great Westerner, and the West is the place of resurrection because the Egyptians would think, wow, the sun sets in the West. That must be where the rebirth is going to take place. But it took place in the East. It always takes place in the East. But they knew that the West was also important, so they call they call him, I think the word is Masu, Mahemi Wasu or Wahemi Masu. I got to look it up again and get back on point on my comedic. So, yes, I do see a connection between. Now, Set, for you to say Set would be related to Shiva. Remember, Shiva is the Lord of Ignorance. And, Shet, and Set was, deals with ignorance. Mm -hmm. Right? He was very ignorant. Very he was ignorant. jealous. Right. Now, jealousy is another... Oh, that's a tamasic quality right there, uh, a quality of, of the darkness. I think your mother's here. Well, I guess we'll wrap this up another time. And thanks for your input, son. You're welcome. All right. Haribo. Haribo.